everyone, this is Michael Graham again. I am here to show you how to replace the swash plate on the Nano CPX. Now, to start out, what we're going to do is simply remove the links from the rotor head. Simply carefully pop these off. Now, you can take the blades off if you wish. Um, it's not necessary to replace a swash plate but it does make things a little less cumbersome. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to take a small Phillips head screwdriver and you want to loosen the two bolts that are holding the head onto the main shaft. You don't have to take the bolts out completely, but they do need, you, do, you do need to loosen them up. Once those screws are loose, simply pull up and carefully pull up on the rotor head assembly and it should pop right off. Make sure that when you're pulling up on the rotor head assembly, you pull up from, let me get this in camera here, you pull up from this assembly here. The, and this is, that, this is the part of the head that actually holds the links to the rotor head. You want to do this because if you pull on the grips, there's a very strong chance you'll end up bending the spindle, and then you'll have to replace that too. So pull up on the plastic part of the head. Now that we have the head removed, what you want to do is simply pop off the links on the swash plate. It really helps if you have nails for this. You want to do all three, and then at that point, carefully pull back the anti-rotation bracket and simply slide the swash plate off of the main shaft. At this point, you set aside your broken swash plate and you and take your new one, you put it over the main shaft. Make sure that it lines up with the, with the ball. And then slide it down, making sure that the anti-rotation pin is installed into the bracket. And at this point, you want to reattach the servo linkages. You want to be very careful when doing this because if you apply too much pressure in the wrong direction, you can easily snap one of the balls off and then you'll be replacing the swash plate again. Now we have the swash plate installed, it's time to reinstall the rotor head. Simply take the rotor head and slide it over the main shaft. Make sure that the screws line up with the flat part of the main shaft. It's a good idea to use your, use your fingers and push on the main gear or the bottom of the main shaft and make sure that the head is pushed all the way down. Once the head is pushed all the way down, take your screwdriver, tighten up the two small screws on the side. And finally, you simply take your head links and reattach them. And if you took the blades off of your Nano CPX, this will be the time to reattach them. But at this point in time, the swash blade has been replaced and you're ready to go fly again.